So your top comes off, things start to get steamy until we pause for a second to breathe and I take the occasion to utter a loud proud that I waited my whole life just to meet someone like you. And even though you cost a lot, now that I've tasted you, I'm confident of you. Sorted caramel latte, I'll never get enough. <laughs> Rocking my outspoken podcast and gone tonight because I run a podcast with YA who is also in the building. Um, so yeah, make sure you yeah make sure you follow the outspoken podcast. Uh, we've got some incredible guests on there. But without further ado, I'll move on to my second piece, which is called Welcome to London. Welcome to London, the city where it's apparent watching the sun go down that made the light disappear is fear that Gotham scared cold with hope from wishing this were a place where heroes roam that symbols don't work here. As dark nights give rise to political propaganda and guys and young lives continue to cease at the end of a life. This epidemic has you choked on the streets with poison ivy like an addiction to heroin with life temperament that's more unsettling than an overdose of methamphetamines. Residents question if anything is a soul surrendering as the commitment these youths have to the blades they're connected with. For some, it starts like a relationship with no strings attached, nothing but fun and games until everything changes when their men sets things to get bloody and this occasion calls for not more than a simple mugging. That's when the kids knees buckle. The situation has him concerned and troubled. He thought his fertile imagination meant he could conceive without the body. So his first response is to peel and be done with the macabre hobby. But he knows it's too late to birth control when he's too deep in this posse. Now in this moment he's worried. He knows the outcome of undertaking this action will be life changing. But like the law of the jungle, it's survival of the fittest. It's either he shows his commitment, commitment or risk becoming a victim. So he proceeds to paint the concrete crimson with the blood of some innocent youth that had no clue his life ended would be the consequence of being caught slipping. What follows is a jail cell and a tight lip rebellion. And to this mute's pressed and left remote struggling to remain buttoned. He's alone in his peak. He's desperate to put an S in the situation and speak. But there's no way a tone meant this letter would save him. It's a shame it took life imprisonment for him to accept that his boys would never clear a cell when getting caught in spot removal. With hindsight, we have to examine what forced these youths to try angles that made them decide they have more to gain from the roles than they do from a classroom. How many times have we seen these academic institutes capital let us see how their liabilities have these youths written off? It's tunnel vision perspective on metrics that put an invisible noose around necks like a game of hangman where past trauma shape futures and these establishments display no real desire to help and I find it sickening. That Twitter provides more of an opportunity for refining characters in the education system. Where kids are expected to take lessons from being condemned to isolated settings that exhibit even the most minor signs of aggression. It's time we amend things and continue to question governmental agenda like why our government continues to allow the streets to play surgeon to every young person willing to offer their blood for a transfusion of which they never truly understood the burden. I mean, how can we expect those in charge to be square? When the value of life is an equation too algebraic for a system that only places significance in numerical figures. To campaign for genuine change means to acknowledge what's at stake. Because the knives are bad enough when the caves when the knives are bad enough when the caves were silent. Now gangs are rushing to bring the whole kid like it was US inspired. Even those that claim that their God conscious was severed tied with the Quran over revenge or leave the cross on the side to let an ex communicate life with a blade spin. Whether it's a Christian living on edge or a Muslim bringing Islam to the slaughter, a call that the faith is thwarted by the story he offers. Says he carries the source for his fortunes, yet his business exceeds in importance. What's the profit that's morbid? I'm wondering how men of folk can live so lawless. Even those where the religious exploring have the choice for decorum. Fact is, this epidemic is as sordid as a chicken box collab home office chicken box collaboration with Morley's. So rather than placing our trust in the laboratories, it's time we inspire our youth to let the result of good actions open doors like chivalry. Woo! Woo!